Hi, this is a quick video tutorial on overscan rendering in Maya for VFX. This method is universal between renderers. I'm not sure how long this video will be, so timestamps will be in the comments. Uh, so let's quickly just show you the method. So what you want to do for overscan is you want to change two things, the camera and your resolution. So let's say you want 10% overscan. So you'll have to do a quick bit of maths. So let's just get the calculator up. So for 10% overscan, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do 1920 times by 1.1, which equals 2000. Whoops. I'm just going to put that on my other monitor. Uh, so that's the width would be 2112. And then I do the same for 1080. So 1080 times by 1.1. 1 .1. That's 1188. So 1188. And then we would times, um, sorry, we would add in uh, 1 after this camera scale 1. So that's 1.1. 1 .1. So basically what you what you just want to think is after the initial one, the camera scale will always be one. Um, but then you just want to change this number after. So if you want 5% overscan, you would change this to 0 0.5. And then if you want like 33%, just 33. But you also have to keep in mind, you need to change this height and width uh, accordingly. So your bait. So let, as an, another example, if we're doing HD, let's just reset this. So your end product is going to be HD, um, and we've changed the camera scale to 1.33. So we're getting this strange-looking result in the back. But if we render, if we don't change the render setting, we're just going to get exactly what you see there, which is pretty naff. We're not actually getting greater resolution. Um, so you would need to times these numbers by 1.33. As an example, in Nuke I've done a few test renders just of that scene. So this is just the image, no overscan, 1920 by 1080. And I'll, I'll plug it into these nodes. So what I've got is a reformat. So it's reformatting to 1080. It was already 1080, so nothing happened. I put a transform node because if there was over scan, we'd be able to see a dotted line uh, and then let's add distortion. So I'm gonna increase that a bit more because typically um, over scan crops up in VFX for when distortion occurs. So with our plate, let's say they just wanted to add a bit of distortion. It's a fair amount, I guess. Like It would probably be the original value, but just so you can see what's going on. So we're actually now missing some of the VFX, like our resolution has actually been reduced down. So when we add, so I'll put a crop at the bottom and what you'll see is we get this emptiness there. So we don't want that. So that's why we're rendering overscan. So let's try with 5%. Um, so I did a render at 5%. Uh, so let's do, so that's before and 5% as you can see the resolution changes so 5% overscan of HD is two th uh, 2016 by 1134 so now let's plug that in to this these few nodes so with 5% overscan we reformat okay so now it's 1080 and then we transform but look you can now see we've got this dotted row so we have this additional information so if I wanted to, I could shift my my 3D around a bit. Uh, just if I wanted to relocate it, for example. Uh, and let's add the distortion. And you can see we're not missing any of the 3D now. We've got a pure white alpha behind. So that means we've got full CG there. As an, another example, I did a more extreme, so overscan to the exact same camera what you saw me doing earlier. Uh, this is 33% overscan, so you can see the resolution is 2554 by 1436. And let's put it in a reformat. Okay, so it's back to 1080, but let's look at the transform. Look at all this information we've got. My, my polygon plane in the background was not very big, so if I do start to drag this there, you can see we now have 
actually the alpha is pure because even though it's black there it's because I was rendering black if we just jump into Maya you can see it's rendering something but it's just black and also it's a JPEG so if I'd rendered a PNG or an EXR 32-bit uh, there would have been uh, an alpha there but there's not just because it's a JPEG uh, now let's add the distortion because I have so much overscan, I could actually crank this up pretty high. Okay, not that high, but pretty high. And then we have the crop at the bottom. And look at that. Now we've got our 1080, so HD, um, but with the overscan included. And we haven't lost our CG because, you know, sometimes what people might end up doing, I think I've done this in the past. Not recently, although you would never know. Um, is you get the HD render, and then when you add the lens distortion, if you can't, if you don't have the time to re-render, then the only thing you really can do is just scale it back up. But you're just killing, you know, you're losing information. Well, you're just stretching pic pixels back up, really. So hopefully you can avoid destroying your renders by using overscan. This method is uh, renderer universal. There is a method for overscan in Arnold Renderer, which is um, the renderer I'm using. But this overscan method is more uh, universal. If you want to use the Arnold's inbuilt method, it is here. So in the render settings system, it is there. Uh, I don't trust it, basically. You can search the Arnold documents, but basically you put in a pixel value. So if you put in one, so 10, it should add equal pixel margins around every edge. If you put in two values, so let's say 10 and 10, the first value will be the extension of 10 pixels for the top and bottom. And then the second value will be the extension for the left, uh, the right and left hand sides. If we put in three values, so another 10, that should be uh, 10 pixels on the uh, top extension. And then the second value is for the right and left hand sides. And then the third value is for the bottom. And let's add another value in. If we do that, then you basically have an extension for each. I think it goes top, right, bottom, left. So the fact that I'm kind of getting confused explaining that, um, kind of means that you should just use this other method it will work and I think it you could do something similar in Houdini I think I didn't test it for this video but I believe you would change your resolution in the same way and then in the screen screen window size I should I should test this at some point but I think you could do a similar method but I'm primarily a my user so anyway, I hope that helped, and if you liked the video, just uh, hit that subscribe.